Hey guys, what is up? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you probably one of my better gameplays in all of Call of Duty. Today, I'll be bringing you the world's most kills in Black Ops 2 in 6v6 TDM, playing fully solo. Now, the cool thing about this was, like I said, this is solo. I wasn't playing in a party, but yes, this is the world's most kills in 6v6 TDM. This wasn't Ground War TDM, but it was on the map Carrier, and Carrier, definitely a really good map for TDM. You know, it's, sometimes it can play a little bit slow, but it's definitely a good map. I really like it in 6v6. But again, guys, this is the world record most kills in 6v6 TDM, playing fully solo, and I am rocking the M27 Assault Rifle. Rifle. And the really cool thing about the M27 is I really really like this gun in the new patch It got buffed and it's absolutely amazing. It was amazing before but now it's even more amazing It's a great gun really guys. It's got great accuracy pretty good damage, you know really really good rate of fire It's just an overall really good gun and the attachments that I was using on it in this gameplay are the quick draw and the stock You know the cool thing about the quick draw attachment. It really helps me out a lot It helps me aim outside on the enemies a little bit faster like right, right there I probably would have died if I didn't have quick draw on and the other attachment in my opinion it makes the biggest difference out of any attachment you gotta have it for every single assault rifle if you want to do really well is the stock attachment I'm absolutely in love with the stock attachment you know it does a decent amount on submachine guns but it's definitely more oriented towards assault rifles you can see right here I pick up my orbital VSAT and that is something else that really has to do with why I did so well in the 6v6 TDM it basically was, was because I was able to rack up all my score streaks and the score streaks that I was running in this gameplay and that I'm showcasing are are the orbital VSAT, the canine unit, and the swarm. You know, that's my usual usual setup to get a lot of kills and set some world records is the orbital VSAT canine unit and the swarm. The K9 unit helps me out a ton because the K9 unit can get the people in the buildings, the people that are hiding in corner, you know, those dirty corner campers that seem to be around every corner in Call of Duty. So that is the basic class setup that I used to get this gameplay, but something else that really made me be able to get this gameplay and pull it off was the way I was playing. I wasn't constantly playing and rushing too aggressive, but I was playing to the point where I knew exactly what was going on with the enemies. The enemies basically told me where they were at. They didn't through mic, they didn't communicate, it wasn't really them telling me at all I didn't even know who the teammates were I just hopped into a game at TDM but I really just knew where they were because I knew they weren't the best players so I knew they'd be running out in the middle so if I could post up and get a few head glitches here and there I knew I'd be able to take them out and that's exactly what I did I took them out when I got the chance I didn't want to rush for them they kept on coming around the same corners you know going for that revenge kill and something else that can make you even better in Call of Duty is don't always go for those revenge kills you know those revenge kills can be really deadly if you try and go for that same guy over and over and over and over he'll just know exactly where you're coming from you won't be able to defend because he'll have a head glitch on you he knows how you play he knows everything about you he knows your name date of birth and your social security number so you definitely don't want to continue going after that guy maybe you can give it once if you think you can beat him if you think he just beat you before just by a little bit but that's really how I got this gameplay I let them come to me but I still played a little bit aggressive you know you got to play aggressive to get 61 kills in a TDM that's a hefty kill a TDM in 6v6 so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you can go out and leave a like rating down below if we could try and hit 120 likes on this video for a world record That's really impressive 120 likes again guys if you could do that that'd be amazing But one more thing I have to say for you guys is try out 6v6 TDM It's a little bit more fun than I thought it was this was probably my second or third game of TDM of the whole day But I really really enjoyed it TDM is a lot of fun if you know how to play it It's also really fun when you play with a few friends again This was a solo gameplay so I wasn't in a party or playing with any friends But try out playing with friends playing with friends in Call of Duty just makes it a little bit more fun but i've already said too much it's been quad mft and i'll see you next time